Well, hey, today I am going to talk about ClickUp. And it is a incredibly powerful project management tool, but it's also really overwhelming. So I'm going to give you the five quick tips that I wish I would have known about ClickUp before I got started that would have saved me so much time and energy. So you are in the right place if you have heard a lot about ClickUp, but every time you look into it, you don't even know where to start. I'm Lauren. I am the founder of The Smarter Creative, and I'm just so glad you are here. You're going to want to stick around to the end where I will tell you how you can save money with ClickUp. All right, so tip number one, you want to keep your statuses simple. So ClickUp uses statuses for a lot of the different views and they are really just to have like a to do in progress, waiting for review done. I did not realize that each one of my spaces really should not have different status names because when you go into the overarching everything view, it is a hot mess. I had some statuses that said completed, some that said done, some that was just complete. And it was so confusing um, then too with like the to do. Some of my tasks were to do's, some were to do's with a dash, some were to do's with no dash. Um, because when you set up each of your spaces in ClickUp, it says like, hey, how do you want your statuses to be for that? And like, you're like, oh yeah, I can just create it any way I want to for this little space, um, which makes sense in that little space. But the beauty of ClickUp is it allows you to step back and step out and get a um, big picture view of everything that you have going on. And one of the things then is if you have all of these different kinds of statuses, when you go to get your big picture view, it is incredibly confusing to look at it. So keep your statuses simple when you start. Don't go ham with all these creative namings. You can do that with optimization inside of the tasks, but not with statuses. Keep statuses simple in your workspace. The second thing I wish I would have really known about ClickUp is it is not a replacement for some other things things. Um, it is not a CRM tool. So like I used Dipsado for my CRM. ClickUp will not replace that. Um, and it is also not a super database. Um, I have a small, a second, another small business um, selling fair trade jewelry and I use Airtable to keep track of my um, inventory, what I have on hand, how much things are, and it works wonderful. And Airtable is free um, and so is ClickUp if for what you want to use it for. Uh, but it ClickUp does not replace those like super intense spreadsheets that I use for my product-based business. ClickUp does have some functionality like Airtable does um, or a Google Sheet does, but it's not designed to really do these formulas and pull information from different places. It's just not, it's not what it's because each of those data line items in ClickUp, it's a task, it's a to do, it is something that needs your attention. And Airtable and Google Sheets is really just a place to store information about something. So as soon as you put it in to your list, like it, it's given a task. And that's, I, my inventory is not a, a task. Like I just want, I need to know what the information is. So I started to import all this information into ClickUp and then realized uh, this is not helpful at all. So I wasted time and here's my learning for you so you do not have to waste time. So the third thing I wish I would have known before really diving into ClickUp is 
you need to adjust your notification setting so that you're, e you're not getting emailed all the time from your ClickUp to-dos. And for me on my phone, I put the app on it and I don't want it alerting me to everything because the, the beauty of ClickUp is again, that like overarching everything view that you can very easily go into and see, oh, this is what's due today. This is what's coming up in the future. This is what um, doesn't have an assigned due date, but is assigned to me. And it gets, a, it's wonderful. I do not need you sending me emails or phone notifications bugging me about some of these things um, unless I tell you to. So uh, it was a little bit uh, frustrating at the beginning to get all of my notifications right where I wanted them to be. Uh, but it is all customizable and you can be alerted to whatever you want to get alerted by. So the fourth thing I wish I would have known about ClickUp before I got started is you can adjust the colors of your statuses of your custom fields, um, if they're tags or single select drop downs, um, into what resonates with you and what gets you excited and feels good. And I don't want to see personally a lot of purples in my space. Like I just, I want to see what I want to see. And um, it can completely be tailored to that. I know it sounds silly, but for me being a visual person, um, I want it to look a certain way. And um, you can also change the view of like what all you see, when and where. And there's just a lot of customization that can be done for you so it works so your click up space works how your brain works and it makes sense to you and you enjoy using it uh, because when it first like you first start it's just it's a mess and it's all everywhere and yeah so you can customize it and make it look how you want it to look um, which is exciting and the fifth thing i wish i would have realized and when i first started with click up is that you pay, if you pay for a premium ClickUp, um, you do it based on workspace. So you can completely switch between workspaces and those are what you pay for if you want additional custom fields, if you want the dashboards, if you want additional automation things. Um, and you might not, like the free ClickUp is great. Um, but I did not realize it was, I thought it was just like per my account, my email, um, but it's not, it's per workspace. So I went through and like created a separate workspace for my jewelry business and um, ended up needing to pay for additional custom fields. And I did not want to do that because I was always already paying for my small business consulting click up. Um, so I moved my jewelry into that. And for me, it makes sense with my head because it's all business tasks for me to do, period. And I want to see that all in one space. Um, so you pay based on your workspace. So if you do not want to pay for more click up accounts, just keep everything in one workspace and you will not have to pay. It's awesome. Um, and then you, what you want to do is if you have different, um, either businesses or clients, you can either do it based on spaces inside of your workspace. So like workspace, you like completely flip in and out of, and then a workspace, you have an everything view of all the spaces in that workspace. So like I have a space in my workspace for clients for just general business to do's for the smarter creative. I have a space for my jewelry business and I have a space for my personal home tasks. And inside of each of those spaces, I don't know why this took me forever to understand. So I hope this helps you inside of each of those spaces in the workspace, you can have folders and those folders, folders then include individualized lists. So your 
client space, I would then create a folder for each of your clients. And even if it is for you, like just tasks that you're working on for your client, or maybe you're inviting your client to your ClickUp to be able to comment on tasks and use it in a collaborative way. But then you can go, because in ClickUp, what's nice is you can go at any level, like up into like your entire workspace, everything. You can see all of the tasks that are with in those levels. So you look at your list, you have to do's in that list. You can go up to a folder and you can see all of the to do's that are on all of those lists that are in that folder. And then you can go up into the space and see all of the tasks inside of each of those folders and each of those lists. Like it all wraps up. And then in your everything view for your workspace, you see every task that's in that entire workspace and you see it by status you can see it by calendar um, it's wonderful um, but this is why we keep things simple going back to number one with our statuses so that when you get to that everything view it is just very clean and clear and you understand in a glance what is open what needs to be worked on um, yeah well, so those are the five things I wish I would have understood about ClickUp before I got started. And I hope it helps you because ClickUp is a amazing tool and it makes so much sense. It does so much. It's a great replacement for Trello and Asana. Um, if you are just looking for a place to get your brain dumped in a place like it's so nice it even does like mind mapping so you can like if your brain doesn't just think in lists like you need to like see it visually it will do that like it's wonderful for so many different things um but i played around with it for a solid year before i understood it well, listen, if you want to see how ClickUp works in a real way, go ahead and click the link below for my template for a marketing social media solution and how I organize my social media posts. Um, and yeah, see how it's done and what it looks like, what it can look like. I would love to share that with you. Go ahead and get that freebie below. It just opens up in your ClickUp and I would love to share that with you if you need just an idea of how you can use ClickUp inside of your business. Everyone needs social media and Instagram is one of my favorites. So you'll see how I use it to stay organized and I'd love to share that with you. So yep, go ahead and click it below and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out videos every week. I'd love to see you right back here. Hit that bell and get notified when a next my next video goes up. I'm going to bring all kinds of tips and tricks and ideas for your small business to get organized. Uh, it's my heart and I can't wait to help you with all these different systems and programs and things that are just can be overwhelming but that I absolutely geek out over.